Hello, Zero K fans. Welcome to Nanaliz at Dawn. This is Shadow Fury 333 with another exhibition match stream, starting with a match between Stuart 98 and Shaman, who, for those of you who aren't familiar, is one of the trickiest players since Cube. Seriously, where's Cube been? But yeah, Shaman's, I think, trying to pretty much take up that mantle, and they've been doing an okay job. I actually played them against them yesterday. They went for an interesting scythe tactic. They started with size, having trying to annoy me with size. I'm playing shield bots. And they went on for gunship tick. And unfortunately for them, laser towers destroyed the tick. So the gunship tick kind of backfired, and I just dirtbagged everywhere to get rid of the size. Ultimately, it didn't work out as well, but it was a neat idea. It was worth trying. I'm glad they tried it. And when but in this case, both players are going for shield bots. Shaman appears to be going a bit more defensive center. Actually, both players are kind of going center. Not sure how defensive they're going to be. Last time I saw a player start here, it was a very defensive play. So I don't know if they're going to do that. I mean, they kind of have to. They are pretty much open on both sides. But it looks like, no, Stuart immediately expanding to the so south... Or sorry, northwest. Apparently, I'm getting my north and south mixed up again. And Shaman going for immediate roaches. Not entirely sure what the reasoning is behind that for dirtbags. I, I mean, Shaman, like I said, is a tricksy player. That's what they do. They do tricks. Though I think they're going to be playing more typically because, I mean, Shieldbot. Shieldbot is typical. Okay, Cube is apparently actually still alive. Anyway. Steward 98 is... Well, they know what's going on. Blocking off Shaman's factory. And... Ooh. Not quite? I'm not sure. Is that blocking it off? Eh, it might, but it doesn't matter. Shaman's already on top of that. Stuart 98 being very aggressive. Ooh, just about got a free... Nice, got a free metal extractor. That roach didn't quite do anything. Good free metal extractor. They can get that power plant to be nice as well, but I don't think they will. I think they're just going to be able to get that metal extractor and go? Yeah, that's all they got away with. But still, Stuart 98 coming with a very powerful opening. This is... I'm actually kind of surprised. This is very, very powerful. Stuart 98 should be able to probably... Turn that into center. Oh, oh, whoa! Shaman's got the center. Okay, I was about to say probably could turn that into center control, but no. Stuart ninety eight expanding over to the side, not focusing on the center. Shaman does have the center and doesn't quite have that much money. I mean, it's helpful, but unless they get overdrive to it, it's not going to be the biggest deal. Given that Stuart is already setting up everything else, they've got a bunch of expansions around the map. So one, one small expansion in the center is, I mean, plus five. Yeah, but that's two and a half metal spots. On this map, not the biggest deal. Actually, a bit more like three metal spots, but it doesn't matter. The point is, it's it's important, but not game-winning at this point. Especially with Stewart expanding around the map, and just generally getting a nicely more secure expansion. Because right now, Shaman could be hit right here, and that would kind of do the trick. That would pretty much do him in. That would be it. Though it looks like Stewart's... Uh, oh, is Stewart's offense going down? Well, Stuart apparently is going a bit more economic. Shaman going for a counterattack. Seven bandits coming in here, and anything else? Nope, not at the moment. Both players playing pretty typical. Shaman playing a normal game. So, as much as I was making comments about being tricksy earlier, apparently, at least at this point, they are not. They're actually being fairly normal. Okay. Okay, I can work with that. I mean, it's not like it's a bad thing. Nice split here, too, and attacking right where they need to. Couldn't quite get rid of the worker, but at least got rid of the expansion. And the southwest or northwest expansion rather getting destroyed. And this is actually pretty big. Now this, like a Stuart 98, this is kind of this expansion is kind of like the plus five in the center. So Stuart is now behind. Hasn't quite updated yet, but yeah, now Stuart's kind of behind. Realizes this. However, they have more expansions. They're actually not even behind yet. They're still on par. So it's okay. They're okay. I'm surprised Shaman isn't expanding, actually. They're just now expanding, but that's not what I expected. And not good timing. Oh, I see. They were trying to build up a bunch of stuff in the main base. Oof, that hurts. And now another attack going to the eastern side of the map. Shaman being very aggressive. I was actually... I thought they weren't. I mean, they started out being very defensive, but now they're pretty much flipping the script. However, they're still not expanding very much. I mean, there's so much metal here. Look at all this metal. I mean, what is that? That's... That's easily 20 metal behind them. They could they could just take. I don't know why they haven't yet. That's theirs. I mean, Stewart is getting everything back. They're going to be rebuilding this. Any, well, they should rebuild that very soon. 
they're definitely building the more defended areas well, and they have set up more defenses around the areas they're worried about being threatened. Do they know? Do they know it's coming? Yeah, they know it's coming. They know. They have vision. They know it's coming. The steward is pretty much ready for this. Shaman, on the other hand, is going to be... Jeez, they're going to be falling behind. As you can see, I mean, Stuart's already five metal ahead. Some reclaim taking place, but not much. Stuart's commander getting upgraded. It was... Okay, just level zero strike commander. What is it doing? Light particle beam. Good choice. That should be able to get rid of the bandits without too many issues. And then after that, we'll just be a counterattack. Now, here we go. Stuart getting their counterattack going. That's exactly what they want. Shaman, on the other hand, I'm not so sure. Okay, it looks like Shaman is... Yeah, Stuart's got that set up. Stuart... Okay, actually, they could flank this. I think that's what they're going to do. Oh, no, they're not. What? Why are you not flanking this? What the heck? Okay, I realize flanking isn't the most powerful thing in the world in 0k, but still, why are you not flanking this? Not to mention... Plus 24... And that's not quite excessing, but it's close. It really... Th where's where's the caretaker? Come on. There's got to be a caretaker. And we have the peanut gallery calling Shaman winning this. I mean, maybe they might know. I, honestly, they could know. They could have checked. I don't know for sure, though, because, well, I haven't checked. And... While Shaman does have a lot of map control, they aren't using it. They are using their economy, however, which Stuart is not doing. Stuart has an economic advantage, which, they are, which they're not taking advantage of. If they lose the game, it'll be more because of the fact that they aren't taking advantage of the economic advantage they have, and the economy they have, letting themselves excess massively. Where are the caretakers? Where are the workers? What is going on, Stuart? I mean, their commander's not dead. No. Where's their commander? There. Their commander's not dead. It's right there. It's perfectly fine. Idle, but perfectly fine. I mean, they are, they've are they been accessing for the last minute and a half, at least. Th that's too much. Steward is about the same LO as... Or is it? Are they? 1500? Well, I don't know. I didn't actually check. Oh yeah, 1551. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to give them the same advice that Google Fog gave me. Make sure your units are not idle. But also in this case, make sure you're not accessing, because... So much metal. So much metal could have been used for this, for just dealing with all this. Just look at all this. This is so many, so many thugs. That could have not been there. There could have been other things. And then, of course, Stuart just... Now Shaman's getting the advantage. Like, now they're building up. Now they're taking advantage of the territory they've had this entire game. And Stuart has nothing to deal with it. They've just got nothing. They had something. But that window's gone. That timing window's gone. And now Shaman with this reclaim has now pretty much taken the advantage. I mean, Stuart does now finally have one caretaker coming up, which will help. But like I said, it's kind of too little too late, especially with the harassment coming in now. We'll see, though. Five bandits against five thugs, that'll be a really hard fought battle. I don't think the bandits have a chance. They might, though. Oh, wait. Actually, you know what? That, man, getting into the shields, doing a pretty decent job. Now the thug and outlaw sports coming in. How is this going to work out? One of the thugs is dead. Another thug going down. There we go. The outlaw's coming in. But not enough. Wow, Shaman, how many thugs are they... Oh, they're just building pure thug. That's why. They've got a gang of thugs going around here. And that, as you would expect is a massive problem. I mean, Xiaomi can just pretty much walk... I think they can walk in to win at this point. Stuart going for a Felon. Probably the worst idea they could go for. The best idea would be Roach. By far the best idea. They could literally run a Roach into this Thug Ball and blow it up. Like, two or three Roaches, they could run into the Thug Ball and it would explode. Because the Thug Ball is not going to be able to hit them. Thugs do not have instant hit weapons. Their weapons are really slow. The Roach, I think, can dodge the shells. I don't see Stuart going for that, though. They seem to be going pretty hard for the standard shield ball stuff, but that doesn't work against shields, especially against massively shielded units. Like, felons do not have enough firepower to get rid of thugs. Rojas, however, can just walk in and blow up. 
Oh yeah, that's right. Stuart is the planetary annihilation dude. So yeah, Stuart ninety eight. Forgot about that. Stuart ninety eight is one of the people who when I when I was doing some of the planetary annihilation casts, really gave me a lot of advice and also. I think does a lot of modding work too for that. I, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Stuart ninety is actually trying to do a planetary annihilation mod to basically bring zero K's gameplay into planetary annihilation. I mean, best of luck. Not sure how easy that would be. Sounds pretty cool though. Not sure if I'm gonna play around with that, but yeah, that's that's right. Forgot about that. Yeah, even Shaman knows. It's like, come on. Oh, really? That's kind of rude to throw that out there, but yeah. Yeah, roaches are a thing. And Shaman's actually going for roach because they can. I mean, they have enough thugs to cover it, and then... Actually, you know what? It'd be really funny if the roach blew up inside their own thug ball, killing them. But I don't think that'll make a difference at this point. Stewart's carving out a little bit of a plant path on the western side of the map. And actually, it's totally open. The western side of the map is totally open. Stewart can completely wreck Shaman's economy right now. I mean, it wouldn't make a huge difference. They'd have to win about two or three fights with the thugs. But still, that would at least give them a good position, or a better position than they have so far. I don't think they're aware of that, though. I really don't think they're aware of that. See, so Outlaw Thug over here. We've got some Rogue, Bandit over in the east. Well, pretty much just Outlaw Thug. The Rogue and Bandit aren't much. And... Ah, convicts for... Wait, these are Shaman's convicts, aren't they? Yes, they are! Shaman losing all their convicts, their entire building wall, or constructor wall, at the front getting destroyed. But they've got tricks. Uh, they got Thunderbird coming in here. Gunja plant as well. Ooh, Valk. Oh, Roach drop! Okay. On top of the Thunderbird, yeah. There's the Roach. And... Bam! Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that'll give Stuart the idea to use roaches, though. I don't know, though. I don't think they are. How long is their queue? Oh, I, don't, I can't see how long the queue is. They have a remarkably long queue. Right now. Going, okay, that anti here is not much. And Shaman going for another roach bomb, which should probably end the game. They roach bomb in the main base. Five roaches, five Valkyries. I'm still surprised they haven't built up more money, but or more metal. And I'm not surprised Stuart hasn't harassed yet. I mean, it's really hard to harass in this situation. I mean, just consider the situation they're in. Ah, Shaman, that's where you're wrong. Stuart 98 is, in fact, out-ecoing you. It's just that they're not able to keep an army at the same time. Or out you you by a massive margin because they didn't take advantage of the fact that they had out you could you for a while properly. And at this point, I mean, I'm a bit surprised Stewart hasn't actually changed factories or added another factory, like added gunship or added planes. The Thunderbird's down. One of the Thunderbirds is down. Another one's going to be coming up immediately as we see Shaman's already building that up. And that... Ooh, no good anti-bandit force there. Except for the Felon, but that... Well, let's see. Stewart's counterattack. I mean, they've got a fair amount of metal. If they come in here, they start smashing it up. If they smash up the center, that's... How much is that? Oh, right now it's plus five. Where's the energy? Shaman has very little energy, interestingly enough. Ooh. And another Thunderbird down. And another Roach. Oh, is that Roach? No, it's not! Thrown in... Blows, oh, it didn't quite blow up the felon though. So Stuart doesn't lose as much of their army as they had last time. But another Roach coming in here, and it's about to get dropped. Ooh, misses! Ouch. Didn't quite fling that in the right direction. Good try, though. And... Ooh, another Roach getting blown up. At this point, I would recommend LLTs. They were, I mean, I don't know how well they work entirely, but I know they work really well against ticks. Like, if you use, if you use Lotuses, and... Actually, there's one right there. The Lotuses should kill them in time. And the Valkyrie, okay. Guaranteed kill. Killing the Valkyrie in the process, but yeah. A Lotus will probably kill the Roach in time. However, Shaman building up... Ooh. Why are you building a chainsaw? I mean, I kind of see why you're building a chainsaw. It's just... 
Why are you building a chainsaw? Really, when you you need to rebuild your army right now. Hmm. I don't know. They also oh, nice. They have us oh, a thug, not a convict. Oh, whatever. Once the chainsaw is done, it should be able to build up the factory once again. But even then, that's only 30 metal going into the factory. They need more. Like, 38 metal income. That needs to be spent. Whoa, what's the range on that thing? Oh! Holy crap, that's that's massive, actually. You know what? Never mind. Disregard what I said. The chainsaw's not a terrible idea. It was more the timing of it. Just the fact that these caretakers are not building the factory. Stewart. Stewart's not paying attention to that particular caretaker. Because it should not be reclaiming right now. That is a mass. Ooh, nice! Okay, I take back everything I said about the chainsaw. That was a really good choice. That's actually probably that. If anything turns the game around, it'll be that chainsaw. Holy crap! That was amazing. Blew up the entire setup. That was the bomb. I was actually that wasn't quite the bomb I was talking about before. That already happened. But still. That would have been a major problem. However, another Roach Bomb is coming in. I've got to move this. I have got to move this. Not where I want it to be. Another major Roach Bomb is coming in, though. What the heck? Five Roaches. Three gunships away. Unfortunately, like I said, the western side of the map is entirely a naked expansion. The eastern side of the map is unexpanded, too. Shaman hasn't taken that at all. What the heck? Stewart has retaken the Northwest. Why are they not going down? I mean, Stewart... Why are they not building more caretakers? I don't know why Stewart's not paying attention to their economy right now. Or anything in their base. Just, your economy needs attention. You need to build stuff. Not sure what Stewart's waiting for. I don't think they even notice. I don't think they're paying attention to their base at all. What are they paying attention to? Let's find... What? They are paying attention to their base. What the heck? They're out there. Following their current view, this is where their camera is looking. Or was looking at the time. They're looking at their base. Why are they not stopping the reclaim? I guess they don't see their economy. It's, I don't know how they had their set up. By default, now it's top center, but it used to be top right. So maybe they're having a hard time seeing it because it's in the top right. I don't know. I don't know where they had their economy, but they're not paying attention to it. Ooh, and... Oh, nice! They stole the felon. Not quite as effective as they... Oh, okay, that's actually not terrible. That didn't make cost, I don't think. Or maybe just barely, because thugs are quite expensive. I don't know. Roaches and Valkyries mostly killed bandits. And the downside here is more that... Although Shaman being rude as ever... The downside is more that the the chainsaw is being relied on, not the shield ball. The shield ball is being relied on, yes. But the real problem is that the chainsaw is being relied on. So, Stuart can't really fall out of, move out of the base, and now... Oh man, they're gonna lose everything. Ooh, nice, never mind, the felon took that, took care of that. Okay, so instant hit weapons work well against Rogue... Oh, sorry, Roach. The Roach Valkyrie drop as much as the Tick Valkyrie drop. Yeah, that's the thing. Instant hit weapons pretty much stuff that strategy out of the gate. And another felon, once again, staying outside of the... Well, I guess outside of the shield ball, which isn't necessarily a good thing, but in this case it is. And once again, more Valkyrie Roach coming in here, which should be destroyed by the, by the felon. And yeah, Shaman's aware of this. Shaman's holding back. I guess they're aware that this will not work. They try for this, they're not gonna have a good time. I think Stuart is gonna pull this back. Wow, yeah, I mean Shaman just just was not going for the straightforward approach, and Stuart went for the strong defensive approach, and it worked. Or it seems to have. Or feel as you get a high level play later. I always start with lower level games and then I move on to higher level games afterwards. That's how it works. Ah, but now the roach is being stopped. However, at this point. Actually, you know what? No, the Felon is being stopped. The Roach is not being stopped. 
At this point, Shaman lost a lot of economy, but their center mechs, if they lose their center metal extractor, that should do the game in. And right now, Shaman's got another set of forces coming. Like, Stuart's got another set of forces they can send in. And the Thunderbirds are going against a split-up force. As of, like, everything's going against a split-up force. Stuart 98's microing quite well for dealing with this. I mean, I don't know if they're trying to. Doesn't look like it. They're just point moving. It sort of just so happens, but it's working out regardless. Regardless of why, it's working. At the getting to a position where it's becoming rather difficult for Shaman to actually deal with these forces quickly. Oh boy. A lot of disarm, not a lot of effective disarm, sadly. And another disarm shot, and where does that go? That does not hit everything! The outlaw still goes strong. Getting rid of the metal extractors, just killing Shaman's economy. What is in here, anyway? Dirtbag, Bandit, Thug, and Raw. Okay, that's a good mix. That's a really good mix. And... Yeah. Yeah, I think that might just turn it all the way back around. Now, Stuart, however, does kind of... A big Bertha, seriously. Stuart must have been playing a lot of team games, because... What? If you're gonna go for a big Bertha, just go for a silencer. I'm I'm serious. Go for a silencer. They're cheaper. I'm fairly certain. I can't really check. I'm fairly certain silencers are cheaper. Oof. What the? They're on a game. Quit freezing on me. But yeah, that big Bertha. I. What? I mean, they have enough forces. Not even to go for a silencer. Just walk. Just walk into Shaman's base and smash it to pieces. You've already disarmed everything around the main metal extractor. If you break that, that's a third of their economy gone right away. Nice use of dirtbag, though. Yeah, but still, like, come on. I don't understand. Why are they not just going for a straightforward attack? I guess they aren't confident they have the forces to do so, but they just... They just heavily damage Shaman's economy, and they know Shaman's going heavily for air and has lost a lot of air units. But yeah, that beachhead's gone. This is falling apart. Anyone who said this was a one game for Shaman... Well, I mean, it looked like it at first. I can see why you said that, but not anymore. And now there goes the main metal extractor. That's my That drops the economy of about 10... Well, 5 or 10 metal per second. It was very overdrive dependent. And no follow up. See, that's the thing about the Thunderbirds right now. There's no follow up force. I mean, okay, walking through the defensive turrets is not a good idea, but there's still no follow up force. And how many seconds left? Ah, five seconds left. Not a big deal. Wow, okay, Shaman's getting salty here. But then again, I've known Shaman to be fairly salty anyway. Like,. I look calm compared to... I mean, anyone who's seen my FP VODs... Well, more of the streams. I tend not to put the salty ones on YouTube. Anyone who's seen the FP VODs that are a bit more salty knows how salt, partly how salty I can be. They don't quite know how salty I can be, but still fairly salty. Was that the rope? Was that the... I mean, the felon again? I think it was the felon again. It looks like it was the felon again. It's becoming way too risky to use those. Ouch. Down goes the rearm pad. Not the... Ma oh, no! Ah. Should have been targeting better, because that pylon... The... Explosion radius in the pylon, and now the roaches. Oh, no. Those weren't roaches. Those are just fakes. Those were decoys. Another roach coming in, which will probably just be suicide. Like, every roach that comes in is going to be one... One less, I guess, 2,000 damage chunk that needs to be done. And one less... I mean, 2,000 chunk of damage needs to be done. 2,000 damage chunk. Okay, well, that was a weird turnaround. I... Yeah. Like, hmm. Shaman's really keen on those tricks. Like, I think the thing about playing tricks, when you play tricks, and anyone who watches my Guilty Gear stuff knows that 
I mean, Millie is kind of a tricks character. Not totally. She's not the most tricksy character in the game, but she's still kind of a tricks character. So I know sort of how tricks work. And the thing with tricks is we have to change them up all the time. Like, the hard part about tricks is that while it can be really effective, they're really effective in narrow ways, meaning you have to change the exact ways you're doing it so you approach a different... I guess Millie doesn't work that way. But you approach a different narrow band of effectiveness. So it doesn't stay... It's extremely effective in one specific way, and it's ineffective every other way. So you have to keep changing what you're doing. So your opponent never keeps up. They're always mixed up. Unfortunately, Shaman was just going for the same trick over and over and over again, even as it stopped working. That's more the bigger problem, I think, is that tricks aren't bad. It's insisting on doing the same trick when your opponent has got it countered. That's bad. Anyway, going to be coming up with another game, which will probably be better. Probably. It'll be a game between... Hmm. Okay, there was a request game from Never Endorse, but I feel like people really want to see a higher level game right now. Because, okay, you know what I'll do? I'll do an Ophelia's and Akinum game, and then I'll do the game that was requested between Never and Dorsch. So I'll kind of switch back and forth, and then the last one's going to be Flipstep and Clone. So that'll work. All right. So next game will be Orphelius and Akinum on Adansonia version 4, the version I've actually wanted to show you guys for a while now. Oh yeah, Cloaked Roach is another one. Although, Shaman says Cloaked Roach is boring too, but then again, I, I don't even know. I don't know what Shaman's thinking. All right, so be back in a sec with Orphelius versus Akinum on Adansonia. Stay tuned, and now I just realized I had the entire bottom bar wrong the whole time. Crap. <laughs>